So hi, uh, welcome Peter to uh, lesson number 16 of our ongoing KP astrology course. Mm -hmm. So last class, you know, I uh, we studied about, uh, you know, how to, what, what is the, you know, what is the concept of basics of horary astrology in Krishnamurti and KP? Yeah. And what is, you know, 1 to 249, then how to use the true astrology software or for that matter, any other software mm -hmm. and, you know, how to predict. Okay. So, so now I guess you can, that part uh, should be clear to you, yeah. should mm -hmm. not be any problems, but then, mm -hmm. You know how this one two two forty nine was arrived at mm -hmm. by Krishna Murti ji. Uh, it is a concept that, as an astrologer, you should be knowing. Even if you don't know it, it's okay. I mean, you can, you know, can uh, the last class that we did, the concepts that I explained to you. Even if you're clear on that, you can you can do your you know you can do your predictions as I explained to you using the software. But then how, you know, 1 to 2, 49 was arrived at. Yep. What, uh, you know, what is, that is basically, actually, it is the sublord theory. Mm -hmm. You know, how the zodiac was divided into 1 to 249 mm -hmm. parts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that, uh, as an astrologer, I told you that, you know, you need not know it. But then if somebody asks you, or if you want, you know, if suppose tomorrow you you're teaching astrology to somebody, KP to somebody, then you should be knowing how to explain it. Yes, sir. So that is uh, what uh, what we'll do today. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is again, theoretical, even uh, if I wanted, I could have skipped this class, yeah. but then I thought, no, let me explain it to you. Yeah. So it'll be again a short class, but yeah. I'll just explain this to you and leave it. Yeah, I yeah. think the ruling planets part you know already. Yeah, yeah. No, no okay, so you. yeah. So now. Yeah, now it has come. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? You yeah, can yeah. see it, no? Yeah, yeah. It's so, so, the sublot theory. Yeah, the sublot theory. So, now the sublot theory. Okay, now I'm reading it out and then I, I'll explain to you. Okay, we are all aware of the Navamsa theory. You remember the Navamsa in Vedic astrology? Yeah. Okay. So we are uh, all aware of the Navamsa concept in Vedic astrology, wherein each Rashi, that's in each zodiac sign, okay, 12 zodiac sign, each zodiac sign is divided into nine equal parts. Nine equal parts of three degrees and 20 minutes, okay, to fine tune predictive accuracy and results. Mm -hmm. That in Vedic astrology, the, you know, we have the Navamsa, we have the Dashamsa. So we have 60 divisional charts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and out of which Navamsa is supposed to be the most important, most yeah. significant or most important, you can put it that way. Yeah. Okay. Besides the Navamsa in Vedic, there are various other Varga charts. Okay. Uh, divisional charts yes, where Rashis are divided into equal divisions. Mm -hmm. I'm just reading out. Okay. Yes, like in Saptamsa, a Rashi or a Zodiac sign, mm -hmm. okay, is divided into seven equal parts. Okay. All this is for deriving accurate predictions. Mm -hmm. Okay. That we have already done in KP. You have done KP. Sorry, in Vedic. You've mm -hmm. done Vedic with me so you would know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now in KP, what happened is, you know, in KP, after extensive research mm -hmm. and empirical findings, empirical means, you know, a researched findings and empirical mm -hmm. findings, the great KSK, that is KS Krishnamurti, 
he felt you know that uh, vedic astrology the tenets of vedic astrology you know what not 100% accurate there were some there were some missing links mm-hmm. so he actually invented his own you know this kp krishna murti paddhati and in that he he saw that you know uh, that navamsha and the divisional charts mm-hmm. following the navamsha and the divisional charts they were yielding results but not 100% mm-hmm. accurate results uh-huh. so he felt the need to fine tune it further yes sir okay so now in kp after extensive research and empirical finding the gray kriya ske divided each nakshatra okay in vedic mm-hmm. each zodiac sign or each rashi mm-hmm. is divided into vargas into nine equal parts or seven equal parts mm-hmm. here what he did is how many constellations how many nakshatras are there 27 27 mm-hmm. so the great ksk divided each nakshatra mm-hmm. or star into nine unequal divisions mm-hmm. okay yep. nine each unequal division is called a sub mm-hmm. that yep. part of you know that 1 to 200 there are 249 subs mm-hmm. every sub has a sub lord mm-hmm. sub is a space okay it is a space in the zodiac mm-hmm. okay division is called a sub how mm-hmm. are these divisions calculated or arrived at mm-hmm. now this is what you have to understand mm-hmm. okay like navamsa you know it is simple mm-hmm. 30 degrees divided by 9 nice. so mm-hmm. one navamsa one part of the navamsa is 3 degrees and 20 minutes mm-hmm. okay so the entire zodiac mm-hmm. is divided into you know how many 108 parts mm-hmm. each each rashi is divided into nine parts mm-hmm. that is navamsa mm-hmm. okay but here what krishna murti ji did there is no equal division mm-hmm. every nakshatra he took up okay like mm-hmm. 27 nakshatras say suppose the first nakshatra is called ashwini in the zodiac yes, they sir. are fixed no ashwini bharani uh, first nakshatra mm-hmm. and every nakshatra has a lord as you would know mm-hmm. so the first nakshatra is ashwini he mm-hmm. took up every nakshatra mm-hmm. and he divided all the nakshatras into nine unequal parts okay mm-hmm. now how how did he divide that one how many degrees are there in a nakshatra ah uh, to and oh no no three three de- nakshat each nakshatra is all these uh, things you have to know remember you have to 13 20 and 20 13 degrees 20 minutes mm-hmm. okay so he divided 13 degree and 20 minutes mm-hmm. into nine parts mm-hmm. but not equal parts mm-hmm. not divided by nine mm-hmm. now so what he did was you know that ashwini nakshatra who is the lord of ashwini nakshatra it is ketu, ketu. Mm-hmm. so he divided ashwini nakshatra and likewise all the other, other nakshatras into nine unequal parts mm-hmm. the and there they they are called the nine subs okay oh, yeah. and mm-hmm. each will have a sub lord yes sir who is the lord of ashwini nakshatra ketu. it is ketu mm-hmm. okay and where does ashwini nakshatra lie it lies in which which rashi does it lie, lie in oh the first one that's uh, aries aries mm-hmm. so see the table on the left hand side see serial number 1 mm-hmm. serial number 1 is that is number 1 in yep. the horary chart this is a part of the horary divisions okay i have for a illustration i have given only a part of it mm-hmm. i have sent the entire write up 1 to 249 subs i have already sent to you yeah 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 i got it okay so now this is ashwini okay now we'll read and then you know mm-hmm. so suppose we have to divide this is the upar se dekhiye from mm-hmm. uh, top you see suppose we have to divide third mm-hmm. 
sixth line sixth line okay one two three four five sixth line yes sir second paragraph third line suppose mm -hmm. we have to divide ashwini nakshatra into subs mm -hmm. okay every nakshatra spans over 13 degree and 20 minutes okay. as does ashwini yeah the lord of ashwini is ketu mm -hmm. so the first sub in sub of ashwini will okay. thus be allocated to ketu there will be nine yeah. subs yeah. and since ashwini the lord of ashwini is ketu so the first sub that is horary number 1 the yeah. sub lord belonging to horary number 1 mm -hmm. the sub lord will be ketu, ketu. Mm -hmm. okay of that space the sign lord will be sign lord will be mars wow. Mm -hmm. Who is the star lord of Ashwini? Ketu. It is Ketu. Yeah. So, star lord of sub lord number one will, will be Ketu. Ketu. And yeah. sub lord, sorry, star lord will be Ketu. Mm -hmm. Sub lord will be Ketu. Ketu. Okay. Mm -hmm. How did he do that? Now, 1300 and now, see all the planets, mm -hmm. Vimshotri, they have allo they have. Say? Fixed Vimshotri Dasha periods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in that proportion, he divided the nine parts. Oh, yeah. okay. Ashwani, he has to divide into nine parts. So, what will he do? 13 degree 20 minutes mm -hmm. divided by 120 mm -hmm. years. Yes, 120 yes. years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Multiplied by, if you are looking mm -hmm. for the sub of Ketu, seven years. multiplied by seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. so that gives zero degrees, 46 minutes and 40 seconds. Yep. Mm -hmm. That is the span in the, that is the space in the zodiac. That is yep. the space in the zodiac, yep. which is horary number one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, whose sign lord is Mars, wow. star lord is K2 and sub lord is K2. K2. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So second round, number come to number two mm -hmm. in Ashwini. Now after you have to follow that serial after Ketu in the in the uh, Vimshotri Dasha table. After Ketu comes Venus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then, how do you calculate this extent of the sub for Venus? Thirteen degree twenty minutes divided by. Tell me. One twenty. Into. Ah. Uh. Venus is 20 years. Into 20. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so the extent will be extent will be from where does Ketu sublord finish? 0, 46, 40. So from the from 0, 46, 40 to 3 degrees. Mm -hmm. To 3 degrees yep. in Aries yep. is the is the Horary number two is the space of horary number two. Mm -hmm. And whose sign lord, horary number two, sign lord is Mars. Oh, yep. Star lord is K2. Mm -hmm. And yep. sub lord is Venus. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the concept, you know, yep. Yep. the most important concept. Yes, sir. So likewise, you go on and on and on. Yeah. Okay. Go on and on and yeah. on. I have given it, it, one it, it, illustration of yeah. the entire, you know, entire Ashwini, how, yeah. how it is to be divided. Now I am reading on. Yeah. Okay. The second sub will be allocated to Venus, yeah. which follows Ketu in the chronological order of the Vimshotri Dasha. Mm -hmm. Likewise, third sub goes to Sun, fourth yeah. to Moon and so on. Yeah. Right? Yes, sir. Extent of each sub, that is Ashwani is 13 degree 20 minutes and Ketu's Mahadasha is 7 years. The span of Ketu sub is calculated by the formula we have already discussed. Okay. In Ashwani, Nakshatra swans from 0 degree. Given on the left hand side is the Ashwani star. Mm -hmm. Ashwani star I have given 1 to 9. Yes, sir. 1 to 9 subs will be for Ashwani star. Yep. Mm -hmm. As you would be able to make out their varying spans. As you can see, the sublords follow each other as per the Vimshotri Dasha chronology. There are 249 subs and sublords in the zodiac. Okay. Yep. In any horoscope, 
every planet and every cusp occupies a certain longitude okay. or mm -hmm. degree mm -hmm. that degree falls in a rashi mm -hmm. in a nakshatra okay. and in a sub yep. okay now suppose rahu i have underlined in red mm -hmm. now yeah. suppose rahu in a horoscope is situated in a horoscope suppose you come across a horoscope you see that rahu is situated at 5 degrees in aries mm -hmm. so rahu is said to be in aries rashi yeah. ketu stars yeah. mm -hmm. and mars sub mm -hmm. okay so yeah, the yeah. sub lord of rahu will be mars yeah. okay yeah see table mars is that the sub lord of rahu likewise every cusp rises at a particular degree mm -hmm. every cusp Mm -hmm. that is in a birth chart also every yeah. cusp rises at a but mm -hmm. so the cusp too is said to occupy a rashi star and sub mm -hmm. okay suppose the third cusp in a horoscope is at 12 degrees in mm -hmm. aries mm -hmm. it is in that is it is in aries rashi yeah. ketu star and mercury yeah. sub yeah. its mm -hmm. sublord is mercury okay. mm -hmm. this is a very important concept yeah mm -hmm. now see in horary what krishnamurti you know he experimented mm -hmm. suppose you know you ask a question and you think of a number mm -hmm. you think of a number suppose you, you are thinking of a number you are thinking of a question i ask you okay you give me a number so you give me the number 7 yeah mm -hmm. okay the chart that will appear the horary chart for number 7 you know this is the the ascendant mm -hmm. the star lord and the sub lords are fixed number wise now yeah. as you can understand yeah. mm -hmm. so you know for number 7 mm -hmm. the ascendant ascendant is up, will appear as in mars wow. ketu ketu will appear as the star lord mm -hmm. and jupiter mm -hmm. will appear as the sub lord mm -hmm. now krishna murti said you know when a person is thinking of a question when he doesn't have a horoscope mm -hmm. whatever number he gives to you Mm -hmm. that particular horary question is going to be impacted by the ascendant mm -hmm. that is al and the ascendant and the star lord and the sub lord yes. allocated to that particular number yes sir so for all 249 subs you know the ascendant the sub lord and the uh, star lords are fixed mm -hmm. the planetary positions that would appear is you know suppose you ask a question now mm -hmm. right now whatever number you give in that horary chart that that horoscope will appear the planets would appear as they are in the in the solar system right now yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah suppose uh, suppose say saturn is in mars Mm -hmm. so saturn 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 is in aries mm -hmm. so saturn will appear in aries whatever the wherever aries falls according to the number that the chart appears okay mm -hmm. now we'll we'll see this now uh, is this clear to you yeah 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 okay is this this is clear to you mm -hmm. so i'll 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 i'll, I'll change the no. Oh, where is it gone?
Okay, Peter. Yep. Uh, it will appear. It will yeah. come. Has it come? The chart? Yeah. Yeah. The audio is coming. It has come. Okay. Yeah. Now you, you, I'll, I'll, we'll prepare a horary chart. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now I'll write Peter. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, whatever the question is, we'll be, I'm just explaining to you. Give me a horary number. 40. Huh? 40. Four 40. Zero. Four zero. That day you had given. Give me some other number. 20. 20. Yes, sir. Okay, so 20. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come up, sir. Yeah, yeah, coming up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, see, just notice, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, for 20, number 20, yes, see, sir. the ascendant is Aries. Aries. Okay, mm -hmm. see here. Ascendant is, Rashi Lord is Aries. Mm -hmm. yeah. Star Lord is Sun. Sun. Okay, and the sublord is moon. Moon. Now note note down, notice the positions of mm -hmm. the planets. Mm -hmm. For this given moment, you know, mm -hmm. whatever number you give me, mm -hmm. these ascendants, you know, the houses will change, the number of houses will change. Yes, sir. Okay. But the planetary positions, you know, they will be as the planets are appearing in the solar system at the moment, mm -hmm. as per the ephemeris. Mm -hmm. That has got the planets have nothing to do with one to two forty nine. Uh -huh. They will be as they are in these skies above us yeah. at mm -hmm. the yeah, at the given moment. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. just notice Rahu, Jupiter, they are in Aries. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Saturn. Saturn is in Saturn is, is in Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, Mercury. Mercury is in Leo. Leo. Okay. Moon, Mars, in Virgo. Virgo. Okay, now, give me another number. We'll prepare another chart for this given moment only. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you're given 20. You give me a number, something like 200 or whatever. One, 169. Okay, one Peter. Six okay, P Peter. Okay, Peter. One then six here, nine. I've written Peter. Then, Horary, you're, give, you're giving number? 169. 169. One. Six, six nine. nine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm clicking here on okay. Okay. Do you want to save the chart? Yes. Yeah. Data saved. Okay. Yes. Oh, where is it gone? All right. Disappeared. Yeah. It must be somewhere. Okay. I think it will come. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's come up there. Mm -hmm. It's come up? Yeah, come up. It mm -hmm. has not come up for me. Mm -hmm. Has it come up for you? Yeah, it come up for me, sir. Oh, what, what is the ascendant? Tell me the ascendant. Ascendant is in uh, Sagittarius. Ah, okay. And what about the planetary positions? Where are the planetary positions? The same. Where is Saturn? Saturn is in Aquarius. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like it was, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the same. Sun. Is in the same degree. Same position, no? That means. Yeah. yeah. So now you get my point, no? Yeah, what I'm sir. trying to explain yeah. to you. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. As per you, as per you see, now as per your number 169, uh -huh. the horary 169 number, mm -hmm. your ascendant is Aquarius. Mm -hmm. The most important thing in this is the sublord. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, this sir. entire thing is based on this sublot. Uh -huh. Now, is this clear absolutely or yeah. not? Yeah, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. I see, sir. Yep. Mm -hmm. No problem, sir. Right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. So, any questions on this? Tell me. Uh, no, okay, sir. Pretty much. 
I understand how to calculate the the longitude and latitude, everything. Yep. Mm -hmm. It is coming in on your screen, but it on my screen it is not coming. Anyway, yep. is it there for you? Is it coming? The third one, right? The third chart, not yet. Is it is still the same one? No, no, no. The uh, Sagittarius ascendant one. Is it there on the screen? Yeah, yeah. Sagittarius one. Yeah, at three degree. Well, mm -hmm. Yeah, this Sagittarius one, three degree. Cup one is Sagittarius at three degrees, zero minutes. Zero seconds. Three degrees at uh, Sagittarius, no? Yeah, yeah. Three correct. degrees Sagittarius. And Rahu, as I told you, Rahu was in Aries in the yeah. number 20 chart also. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jupiter was also in Aries. Correct. Okay. Because yeah. they will not move, you know. It's only been five minutes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, if 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 you say if you say if you ask you say after an hour after mm -hmm. one hour if mm -hmm. you give me a number maybe the position of the moon could could change if moon you know is moon is on the cusp of changing position the moon also will not change because moon is at three degrees and thirty one minutes yeah mm -hmm. so moon will also not change you know one moon stays in one house for two mm -hmm. and a quarter days approximately uh -huh. yes. so the planetary positions will not change uh -huh. so and the this is the this is horary of krishna murti okay yeah, mm -hmm. okay? yeah sir. okay and now the analogy is that you know this is the birth time of the question that is the question is the child yes sir question is the child and the birth time is when you ask the question. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. The horary number is the child. Mm -hmm. And the birth time, birth time, okay. birth mm -hmm. time is the time when you ask the question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the place of birth is where the astrologer is sitting and, yeah. you know, solving the query. Yes, sir. This is the analogy. Mm -hmm. The rest of the things are same. Okay. Yeah. Now, See, in this horary chart, next what you have to see, suppose you have to use ruling planets. Mm -hmm. Now, as soon as you prepare the horary chart, you know, ruling planets for, this is for Ranchi. Mm -hmm. See, just below this chart, ruling planets for the time when you prepare this chart will come here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And suppose now, you know, you want to see, suppose one hour has elapsed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you want to see the ruling planets right now. Mm -hmm. Then see come here oh, what is written here uh, you change it here Happy here now. what Happy is now. here ruling planet now ruling planets now if you click this and the, if there is a change then things will change here yeah okay yep. okay yep. and the table of significators change. will come here on the right hand side corner yep. mm -hmm. so the entire chart is with you yes sir Entire chart is with you. You can make your predictions. Yes, sir. Whatever your question was. And if you double click on this, then the North Indian and the South Indian chart yeah, yeah. will appear here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. The chart type. Mm -hmm. So this is this is you know, the concept, the basics behind KP Horidi. Mm -hmm. And then you can start predicting. The prediction, the rules are the same as KP Natal. Okay. Mm -hmm. the rules are the same as KP Natal. And I rely on, you know, I told, as I told you, I rely on Natal natal astrology i rely more on vedic, vedic because of the time of birth problem okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there you have much more leverage you know in two three four minutes not too many things you know that precision of that sublord position of the sublord is not required and vedic gives accurate results that has been my experience okay but when it comes to horary horary kp is the most accurate Hello, Peter, are you there?
हाँ ऋषिकेश गुड इवनिंग सर हाँ बोलिए बोल रहे थे कि एक मेरा ऑटो आया है डिलीवरी वैन जैसे एमडीएच वाला था एक सेकंड एक सेकंड होल्ड करना जरा या पीटर पीटर इट अपीयर्स आई डोंट नो दैट समथिंग रॉन्ग आई कैन सी यू एट योर एंड आई थिंक दिस कनेक्शन इज लॉस्ट आई दे योर कनेक्शन और आई थिंक माय रिकॉर्डिंग इज ऑन सो समथिंग सम प्रॉब्लम एट योर एंड एनीवे द क्लास इज द क्लास वाज ऑलमोस्ट ओवर आई थिंक आई हैव एक्सप्लेन टू यू यू नो द कांसेप्ट्स दैट आई वांटेड टू एक्सप्लेन एंड देन वी विल स्टार्ट uh the prediction part from the next class from today friday from tuesday we'll continue where we had left i think i was i had taken up profession part 1 then we'll continue with uh profession part 2 and uh, today 16 i think another 10 classes to go not more than that after that our course will be over so see you then peter i think uh, i don't know let me check with you on whatsapp what happened yeah Okay, the electricity is off and back now. Okay, so anyway, uh, I'm saying goodbye to you. Okay, I'm ending the class. There's nothing more I had lined up for this today's class. I think the concept is clear now. How and why this one forty nine business? Okay, so that's it. That's it for today, and uh, I'm ending class. Bye.